How do you propagate a shrimp tree? Oh, a shrimp tree? Yes, a shrimp tree. Well, it's like a, well, a willow tree. It's one of these. And the reason why they call it a shrimp tree is because, the, well, the little fresh young growth here, they look like little shrimps. Well, apparently. <laughs> well, it's, uh, well, basically it's a willow, right? And, uh, or one of the varieties of willow. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to propagate it in this video, and it's really, really easy. Sorry about that, now you drop the camera then. And uh, all you need is some of those, and I have some secateurs. And uh, I've got this problem here at the moment, so I, it's kind of uh, growing over the space there. So I kind of, I get like, how to put it, I get brushed every time I want to cut the grass. Yeah, I don't want that. No. <laughs> you know what bugs might be in it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut a bit off. Because we're going to get rid of it anyway, you see. Not all of it, but a bit of it. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to find... Oh, oh, we're coming in. All David Bellamy style. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, over here are some branches in here. There's one here. And there's one there. If we just take this one off for a sec first. Uh, if, oh, I could double some lot, but it's not flipping the second tears. Well, I'll take it off there for now, because this for the purpose of this video, that'll be okay. The dude, dude... I'm coming in. I really should have got some loppers because these are a little bit had put. Yeah, they're a bit had. Uh, uh, you need Hulk fingers or Hulk hands. All right, I'll chop the branch off. Here I come. Oh, my branch. Now we're going to do. Oh, hello, Wally. There's my Wally. Hello, fella. How are you? He's had a bath. Well, actually, he had a shower. He came in the shower with me, <laughs> as you do. Well, well, I do anyway. So I've got my branch of my shrimp tree and now we're going to take it into the garden, our veggie garden, because that's where we're going to propagate it. Yeah, and it's so easy to do and it's not, it's not difficult and uh, it, you know, it actually, uh, well, propagates really, really easy in fact. Now this is May, it's not the best time of the year to do this. I would suggest doing it after the summer season, doing the autumns or over the winter period, and then it's got a chance over that period to gain some root, enough root to survive a hot summer. But either way, I would still say it's a good idea to um, keep it wet. Now, a good idea what we've been doing, because we're in the rewilding here, we're planting loads of trees, and I'm propagating as many as I can myself as well. If you see who we are, we have a bed of trees. All those are willows. There's common willow and contorted willow over this. Two varieties of willow. Well, the shrimp tree is basically a willow as well. But it's quite pretty, you know. Some people call it floribunda or whatever, but it's a, it's a, it's a variegated leaf. And that fresh growth, so the leaf itself has is, is got like this, is a variegated leaf, like that. Yeah. Um, but the young growth, you know, these little shrimps, they call it a shrimp tree here in France. So um, all we have to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick you down on the floor. Sun's behind you, that's good. Down here like that. All right. So we have our shrimp tree. What we don't need is all this young growth. This growth here is no good to propagate. So you can just get rid of that. All the young growth, well, last year's growth basically, none of this year's growth, because all that'll do is pers perspire, <laughs> and then you'll lose the um, moisture. You want to try and keep this stem as live for as long as possible, so it actually roots, yeah? Now this time of year, what I would normally do is get a bucket full of water, or put it in my drink and what have it, and leave it. Just literally just cut these off about here, about oh that's probably about good, that's probably not a bad length. Get rid of some more of the bottom bits like so. And that's all you need is that that stick. Right? Normally in the winter, I'd uh, you know after the summer season, I'll chuck that in the ground and it'll root. That stick will. That'll literally that'll become a tree eventually. And then the following season you'll get loads of where all these little little uh, nubs are here buds they will pr produce leaves nice young new leaves but this time of year may what i tend to do is i tend to put it in a load of water first to give it a start it'll start producing root and then i'll put it into soil and then what i'll do is i'll just 
make sure it never gets a chance to dry out. So that's another one. And then we've got one here as well. So all these short sticks. Now you can actually buy these sticks just like that. Yeah, on eBay. People sell them. Different varieties of willow. But you don't need all this growth. The growth will actually, this young growth, will actually make it so it doesn't actually, has less chance. Because what these will do is effectively, what each of these leaves will perspire any moisture out of the actual branch itself. You know, the, the bit you're trying to propagate. So about there, before we do. Did he do, do get another couple out of that one? You know, you know, you you can actually propagate willow. It could be the size of your wrist, you know, and it'll still propagate. Doesn't matter. So these are what we call hard wood cuttings. If you're doing soft wood cuttings, we use them those bits, but I don't recommend because they tend to rot before they tend to get you, before they have a chance to uh, root. The, this is really high success rate. Ah, but use loppers. <laughs> so okay, so we've got our well, one, two, three, four, five, there's six trees there, six potential trees that could produce these. These are quite expensive ones to buy, these um, shrimp trees, as far as willow's concerned. And that's one we planted years ago. That's doing quite well. Wally's over there. Oh, look, he's all clean, he is. Is Wally. What are you doing on my asparagus? What are you looking for? You're going to lay on it. Okay. That's not kind of what I wanted you to do. So what I normally do is with these, I literally, well, if I've got longer ones, I li I'd leave them into this this uh, drinker here, the animal drinker, for the water and what have you, and let it soak. Other than that, what I tend to do, I just stick them, literally stick them straight in the ground. But what you've got to do, make sure, though, is you put them somewhere where you can be able to water them easily. Well, we water in all this anyway, because it's our veggie garden. So it's not a bad place to actually do it. Now, uh, I've just... Uh, Put some potatoes in along there. They'll that at some point along here, along here, a row of potatoes. It's not a bad place to start. I could use them. The, these trees as a way of bordering this bed. And then in the autumn season, there'll be root on there, and we can actually a bit comfy there. We can then uh, just dig them up and then put them into their location. You can put them in pots if you really want to, but when you put them in the ground, make sure you do it in the upward direction. You can tell, if you look at the little uh, buds on there, they're, they're facing upwards. You can feel them, it's like barb almost. And obviously you can see on these branches, so that we know that one goes up way up. All I'm going to do is just push it in as far as I can get it like that. Yeah. And the next one. Because I'll be digging them up, they don't have to be that far apart. Uh, you know, I'd say about 120, 150 mil. It's probably enough. Just so you can easily do it, so the roots don't end up interfering with each other when you dig them up. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to, you know, you will be fairly deep. Yeah, you know, the reason for that is, is so you don't end up, um, you know, drying them out. You want, you want, the deeper they are, the less likely they're going to dry out. They're going in quite nicely because it's soft. There you go. So there are, that's going to be six trees. One, two, three, four, five, six trees. Six free trees made from a tree that we already had. There's lots of things you can propagate like that. Willow, especially, are, well, very easy to do in that fashion. As you can see, all those willows over there, they're doing really well, and they're going to be planted on our field over there this season. Sorry, sorry, I'm in the winter, over the winter season. You know, from probably about, uh, September time, we'll start putting them in the in the in the ground. Those ones, um, but yeah, why not have a give it a go? Don't see any reason why not, do you? And everybody needs a wally, just so you know. Anyway, it's time for me to go. I might make another video, you know. Hmm, maybe. Ta ta, <laughs> and have a lovely day.